going, people? Doing pretty good. Straightening up the crib. I found something that I've been holding on to. This must be 10 years old. It was in a box with books. Um, yeah, what God wants the deaf to know. I th <sighs> the fact that I kept this means something. Now I'm going to read it with you and refresh my memory. I think this might be a masterpiece. <sighs> Beer in progress. Oh. What God wants the deaf? I don't know how to do that. I gotta learn. I will someday because I might start doing it while I'm doing my videos. Uh, what God wants the deaf to know. So I'm not gonna shout it because I'll pound on the wall if I do. It's by Paul J. Levine. Great artwork there. Like God fingering the planet, probably making it spin. And it looks like maybe that's his eye back there. Uh, all right. <clears throat> For God so loved the world that... Uh, John 3.16. Look it up. Fucking tiny-ass print there. John 3.16. He, yeah, he gave, his, he gave his only begotten son. Yes. Because he... Well, never mind. We'll get to that, I'm sure. Who is God? Where did you come from? I'd like to know where God came from. Because everything comes from something, right? And then there's got to be something for it to come from. And... Why must you die? These are important questions. Please read this story. You will find the answers. Who good story time with pictures. It's like a kindergarten class. Sounds like it too. <clears throat> Who is God? God lives in heaven. That doesn't answer the question. And where is heaven? Somewhere up there. God made the earth. <laughs> and then he, yeah, spent five, what, six days on, on the earth and on, on the rest. <laughs> ah, wow. God made the stars. God made the animals. God made people. Because we're not animals. That's why we're mentioned separately. Nope. There's animals and then there's people. <laughs> God made everything. You could have summed it up like, just say, hey, God made everything. I got more rants and I need to squeeze more on this. But apparently they don't, they don't really have much original things to say, I guess. All right. God knows everything. Except... He didn't know where Adam and Eve were hiding, hiding, and you know he's always going, you know, Abraham, where are you? Here I am. But he knows everything, even though he made the planet, and then he repented that he made Earth because of people, and decided to kill everything. <laughs> yeah, but he knew everything, so he knew that was going to happen. Makes sense when you don't think about it. All right. <laughs> Where did you come from? All right, so you're just not going to answer anything else about, you know, God knows everything, God is good. You never said what he is. <sighs> all right. God made all people. The first man was named Adam. Because you can't hear, so we know you're slow. God, why don't they just, you know, change this to, um, 
what God wants the uh, autistic to, to know, or people with Alzheimer's to know. Make them read this every morning and evening, just in case. This is so fucking insulting. I love it. <laughs> yeah, first person, the first man was named Adam. Because you probably never heard that if you can't hear. <laughs> the first woman was named Eve. Adam and Eve lived in a beautiful garden named Eden. God was a friend to Adam and Eve. God made all people. God made you. Why do people die? But look at that beautiful panorama. <laughs> For the hard of hearing. <laughs> Remember Adam and Eve? Because we all people that are hard of hearing have short-term memory. <laughs> They have problems with their short-term memory. <laughs> Remember, Adam and Eve lived in a beautiful garden. Many, many trees grew in the garden. Because you probably never heard this before. <laughs> I should have done this one with a megaphone. <laughs> uh, but that would have been rude. I <laughs> could have done it outdoors. Ooh, maybe I will. Someday. Um, God said not to eat from the tree named the knowledge of good and evil. In brackets. Bad. That tree would make Adam and Eve die. Of course, they don't know what death is and they don't know what bad is. Because they are a couple of innocents. It's a sexy illustration there of Eve. The voice of Satan is in the little word balloon and I don't see a snake anywhere. All right. The devil was an angel. The devil hated God. The devil did bad. The devil sinned. One day the devil was in a serpent and talked to Eve. And a serpent told Eve not to obey God. So if a snake was possessed by the devil, why curse all serpents? Sorry, I gotta keep my voice down. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, why knock off their legs and you know, make them detested? I mean, it was possessed. It could have been a hummingbird, you know. Just use the snake. Because it's phallic. <sighs> anyway, just saying. Why'd the devil let... Why'd God let the devil in the garden? Why didn't God warn Adam and Eve? Or protect them? Give them an angelic bodyguard. You know, like the one that you put at the gate to keep them out. He could have... <clears throat> Sorry, getting froggy. Uh, better. All right, we'll move on. The devil told Eve to eat from the tree named the knowledge of good and evil. Brackets bad. Again. God. For the deaf, not the dumb asses. <laughs> the dumb shits. <laughs> <sighs> must have been done by a kindergarten teacher. For deaf people. The devil lied. The devil said, You won't die. Not for almost a thousand years, anyway. 
Ah, you'll be long, you'll be pretty bored by then. Ah. Um. <laughs> Eve did wrong. Adam did wrong. Adam and Eve did not obey God. <sighs> they followed the devil. So that's how it happened. <laughs> oh man, I feel so guilty. <laughs> Adam and Eve ate fruit from the bad tree, that bad magic tree. That was sin. Damn it. <sighs> what is sin? Sin means to do bad things. Adam and Eve sinned. God made Adam and Eve leave Eden because they sinned. He just boots them out. Now I'm not protecting you like I wasn't before. I mean, come on. He didn't... <laughs> I know this is silly. I'm just playing the... I'm playing a Jehovah Advocate. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand this. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Adam and Eve died because they sinned. Like I said, they were probably bored by then. <sighs> Long life, tons of repetition. You know, spreading out the whole damn planet. Yeah. All right. Sin is bad. All people have sinned. You have sinned. Don't try to deny it. <coughs> Ooh. Uh, God's book, the Bible says, yeah, not those other books. None of them. Just the Bible. And it better be the right translation. <laughs> the one your particular de denomination favors. <sighs> Makes perfect sense if you don't think about it. Uh, okay. God's book, the Bible says, all have sinned, and that's Romans 3, 23. What happens when you die? <sighs> if you don't know, I'd rather not be the one to break it to you. Um, God's book says the wages of sin is death, and that's Romans 6.23. God must punish sin. All who sin die. All who sin go to hell. Hell is a lake of fire. In hell, you will have much pain. Ah, ah. Fucking scary. You have sinned. All people have sinned. All that sin must go to hell. And I guess... What's that? Yeah, that's Jesus hanging up there. I mean, he, he did it for us. And you're going to waste that opportunity. I mean, come on, he already did it. You may as well sign on. Get rid of all your guilt like you never did nothing wrong. And, you know, sign on for the next life. Who is Jesus? Jesus is God's Son. Jesus does not sin. Jesus came to live on earth for a while, a long time ago. Jesus loves you. So does Big Brother. Um, so does Santa. Uh, Jesus does not want you to go to hell. 
Yet, he's the one who kept talking about it. <laughs> Hang on a second. I know I'm making I'm I'm really turning this into an abortion, but what the hell? Ah, it's stress relief. Jesus is good. Jesus came to die for sin. A long time ago. Jesus died on a cross, in case you haven't heard. Jesus came to die for sin. Yeah, said that again. Son of a bitch, he said that again. Jesus came to die for sin. Jesus died for you. He's repeating himself just to fill this up. All right. God said, you have sinned. God says you must go to hell. God must punish sin. Oh, Jesus died on the cross to take away your sin. Jesus wants to take away your sin. In case, in case you can't hear. That's why he's talking an idiot talk. See, God, I mean, replace the deaf with any kind of social class or whatever. <sighs> Jesus came out of the grave. Jesus went to heaven. Jesus lives in heaven now. And that's, I guess, the Holy Spirit blowing out that rock. Ah. Uh, oh, man. That's magical. You ask Jesus to take away your sin. You believe on Jesus, and he will take away your sin. I'm reading this verbatim, honestly. Jesus loves you. If you believe on Jesus, you will go to heaven. Heaven is a wonderful place. <sighs> there is no pain in heaven. <laughs> there is no sorrow in heaven. Sounds splendid. There is no death in heaven. Not allowed. Jesus lives in heaven. <laughs> okay. Jesus wants you in heaven with him. <laughs> you can hang out. <laughs> Jesus will take you to heaven. You will never leave heaven, nor want to. I added that part, but it belongs there. You will be happy in heaven. And happily ever after. Do you love Jesus? Do you believe on Jesus? You pray to Jesus and ask him to take away your sins. 
you will go to heaven. Ask Jesus to take away your sins. Say, Jesus, I love you. I think, I thank you for dying for me, because that makes a lot of sense. <sighs> if they get you young enough, <laughs> pound that into your head as you're learning everything else, <sighs> then it makes perfect sense. Ask Jesus to take away your sins. Say, Jesus, I love you. I thank you for dying for me. Because you're going to do it anyway, but that was just so cool of you. I know you are alive in heaven, along with my dog, Duke. Sorry, I'm getting choked. Oh, all better. It's more splendid artwork. Uh, tell Jesus you love him. Tell Jesus you will live for him. Tell Jesus you will tell others about him. Uh, do this now. Do not wait. Trying to help. Sign your name below. You will receive something good to read. Like this? You should put it in Braille, just in case. Uh, there's the contract that you, they expect you to sign. And I'll include the information wherever it goes these days. I know I have sinned. I know Jesus died for me. I know he is alive in heaven. I now ask him to take, a, take my sit away. I want to love him. I want to live for him by Paul J. Levine, like you said on the cover. He wants to make sure he's getting credit for this. And I'll put it in the type, in the info, wherever it goes these days also. Let me know if this changed your life. And um, I'm sorry I don't know how to do semaphore or sign language. I, that's really wrong of me. I should do that. Might. Anyway, let me know if this changed your life, or if you learned something, or if you just want to leave a response. It goes right up immediately. So, stay tuned for more laugh tracks, religitarded laugh tracks. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. <laughs>